Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Legit Manga Reviews here, bringing you guys my manga haul for March 2017. Now, I'm sorry I haven't uploaded it in a while. I actually had a video planned for uh, February, but I ended up scrapping that video during the editing process and decided not to upload it. So, since I wasn't going to make a video for March and I have time right now as I'm on March break, I was like, you know what? Since I didn't make a haul video last month, I might as well make it for this month and show you guys the new volumes that I've picked up. And secondly, as you guys can see, I have a new layout in the background. Uh, instead of that old wooden desk that I have, I'm focusing my filming on the One Piece volumes that I have on the shelf. And I'm also using some natural lighting, so hope that all turns out pretty well. The One Piece, One Piece volumes on the shelf are probably not permanent, as if I do pick up much more manga in the future, I will probably put these volumes back in their box set until I get maybe a smaller shelf, as I don't have much space. But yeah, that's really it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll get right into it. Alright, so starting off with uh, my basically monthly pickups, I picked up Food Wars Volume 16. Now this is a wonderful volume, I really do love the colors and the basically the darkness of the whole volume. I'm not caught up with Food Wars yet, I'm only caught up with the anime, but nonetheless this is an awesome volume and I can't wait to get into Food Wars as I hear lots of great things about it and like I said I can't wait. Uh, next up, I picked up the um, the fourth two and one for Kuroko no Basket or Kuroko's Basketball. So we have here volumes uh, or Omnibus Volume Four and Volume Seven and Eight in here. Really cool. Uh, I haven't gone into Kuroko's Basketball or at least the manga yet. Uh, the anime is awesome. Really loved it, but uh, the manga is definitely very new to me. And like I said, I can't wait to get into it. So really cool there. Uh, next up, I have Haikyu Volume Eight. Uh, like I say in most of my videos, Viz is doing an awesome release with this, uh, with these um, volumes here. Haikyuu is definitely very popular right now, and I'm happy to have Volume 8. I think I only read up to Volume 4 from the volumes that I have, but um, since that I'm obviously not up to date with the volumes, I will probably probably reread all of the Haikyuu volumes when it maybe gets to Volume 10, as I'm currently reading actually One Piece. So that's definitely taking a lot of my time, hoping to finish that up by the end of this week. And... Talking, uh, speaking about One Piece, I have Volume 81 here, really cool, I like actually this camo on the One Piece cover, really cool, we got some of the Straw Hats there, uh, I'm not sure what's happening in this volume, uh, I'm not even sure what chapter we're on this volume, if I, maybe if I check here, um, yeah, we're around chapter 816, sorry if there's any spoilers here, not too far in it, but anyways, One Piece is awesome, and now I'll show you guys the rest of the volumes that I picked up this month. Alright, so like I said in my last haul video, I think in January, I said I'd pick up the rest of Dead Men Wonderland Volume 7 to 13, and that is exactly what I did. Um, pretty cool. I can't wait to get in Dead Men Wonderland. Heard, heard lots of great things about this series. Um, so I guess starting off, we got here Volume 7. Really awesome cover. Not too much to say about this. Um, really cool in general. Um, and then we got Volume 8 here. Really awesome, a nice black cover. I really like a lot of black covers. Are, I find they're all really cool. Um, the Miguel Volume 9. And I love how Deadman Wonderland does the kind of black and white concept. I find that really cool. And we got Volume 10 here. Really awesome again. Not sure how good the series is. I've heard lots of great things about it. Uh, the art definitely looks pretty good. Um, maybe I can get, show you guys a little panel here. Volume 11 here. If I can find something, I don't want to spoil myself or anything. Really cool, really cool. Volume 12 here, awesome there. And last but not least, we have volume 13. This is probably my favorite cover out of the whole set. I don't know, just there's something about these characters that look really cool, and this the whole cover in general looks awesome. Volume 13, can't wait to get into the series. It's definitely my next series that I want to read after One Piece. And also, I want to show you guys the anime that I picked up this month. I wasn't planning to show this, but I, since the video is kind of short, I might as well just show it. So, first off, I picked up Dragon Ball Season 1. It's really the only anime that I really get, which is Dragon Ball. This is like $20. Uh, I ended up getting it for actually Christmas. That's why the tag's probably um, taken out there. But nonetheless, really cool. I have Season 2 somewhere, but... This is, uh, I, now I have season one, so I can actually start watching it from the original or the first episode at least. Um, I've seen this series before, but this is, that's still really cool to have. Then we have the Dragon Ball Complete Collection Movie 4 Pack. Uh, something I really want to get as well. Uh, something I, at least I really want to get as well. And then again, $20 again. I got it for Christmas again, but I just forgot to show you guys. Uh, so really cool there. 
uh, awesome. Dragon Ball is definitely the GOAT at times. And last but not least, we have the complete series of Dragon Ball GT. Now, I know a lot of you guys do not, or at least a lot of people do not like Dragon Ball GT that much, but this is like literally a bang for your buck. I got this for $30 at my local Walmart. And if you guys have any of these, um, or at least any uh, Walmarts locally, do you may be able to find Dragon Ball GT for super cheap. So if you can, definitely hop on it. I actually am a pretty big fan of Dragon Ball GT, but nothing that I'm like superly hyped about. There's a lot of cool transformations, a lot of cool uh, fight scenes, but I can see the flaws in the series and uh, I can definitely uh, give credit to where credit is due for the series as well so really cool there um, but yeah that's really the only anime I picked up this month anyway so yeah alright guys hope you guys did enjoy this manga haul video for this month if you did drop a like down below that will be greatly appreciated also comment what you picked up this month uh, also uh, comment your favorite part in the video and also subscribe for more content I, don't, I know I don't upload as much but I definitely do want to change that and share the video with all your friends and family members if you like a lot of manga I don't always say that as well but anyways like I said hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys in the next video peace everyone